A large group of Utah veterans returned to the Provo Airport last night to a huge hero's welcome. As the specialist Jed Bull shows us, the Utah Honor Flight was a chance for these veterans to visit the memorials dedicated to their service and pay respects to those who didn't come home. Jed? We're here at the Korean War Memorial with 75 veterans and their guardians. A number of those veterans served in the Korean War. The Utah Honor Flight has brought 42 flights to Washington since it began a decade ago. It made me grow up <laughs> in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. Marv Evans of Eden went off to the Korean War in 1953 and says the brutal battles made him sort out life's priorities. Family, and human life itself. Many of the uh, young men I served with that never came home. He contemplated the horrors of war and tells me it made his heart ache to be here. Korean War, when you come home, was a lot like the Vietnam War. People were protesting and they didn't think too much of you. He'd like to forget that chapter in life, but he keeps the memories of fallen friends alive in his heart. The flight, sponsored by the Larry H. and Gail Miller Family Foundation, honored veterans from World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, and the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Surprise, I mean, it's a shock. These two Vietnam yeah. War vets had an especially exciting trip. Doug Sunderland got married before he headed off to battle in 1969. His best man was Dwayne Story, also a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, who we met in basic training. We just enjoyed just each other and uh, both from Utah. They lost touch after the wedding. I don't think I've seen you in Vietnam. No. And hadn't yeah. spoken for more than 50 years until Sunderland Roy Bain. heard Story's oh, name Brown. during mail call on the honor flight. And I thought, wait a minute, it couldn't be. The guy in charge of my bus came and says, did you, were you the best man at uh, a wedding in the 59, I said, yes. Found out this morning that it was definitely the Dwayne story that I knew. It was great. Great friends then and still are really, and uh, just a chance of quite a reunion here at, uh, in Washington, D.C. So far, Utah Honor Flight has served 2,300 veterans, and they pack a lot of valuable memories into a two-day trip. For Live at Five, I'm Jed Bowl.